Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Special Hobby and it comes in 148 scale and it copies quite famous aircraft as you can see it's L4 Cup and in 148 scale it won't take a lot of space but still should be quite an interesting subject to build and paint and as you can see we have a civil version so we have here so called um, European cups in post-war service you can see one of them on the box art and also we have this science of, of which countries are included here so if I bring them closer you understand what I'm talking about so we have here the uh, Czechoslovak aircraft also Polish market and British marking and Swiss marking so I guess this will be quite interesting to see how they look like uh, on this aircraft and here obviously on the box art we have a Czech aircraft because of OK in the first and the box size is typical for this brand so you can see we have really beautiful box art here and that's the comparison with my hand so on the side here you'll find some information about the kit while here we have some safety advices and address of the manufacturer this is a top opening box and by the way the kit number is SH48222 as you can see here so I will put this box aside so here as you can see we have assembly manual we also have uh, parts packed together with the calls assembly manual will be checked later first we need to start with plastic parts and here we have them packed into a resealable plastic bag so it should be quite easy and quick thing to open and then we will take a closer look at the parts. I would like to start with the uh, biggest sprue here in this package. As you can see here we have fuselage halves and also wing parts and everything looks quite nice. So this fuselage half is molded together with the rudder while this one has no rudder so obviously this element will be used as a guiding element. Uh, here we continue with tail wings which are molded together with elevators. We have two halves for each side of the wing. Note that the cooling panels are pre-molded so you will have to be careful while joining them together but let's zoom in a bit more so that you can see what we have here on the wings in my opinion these external features look really good so it's just a matter of maybe doing some pre-shading in order to have a even more nice looking result note that the um, here we have also the bottom panel and cockpit 4 these are the tail wings which we talked about and here we continue with visage parts again really nice uh, features even though there are not that many panels on this aircraft obviously and if you flip it over here inside you will find some interior features again they look really good for this scale and this size of the model so here you can see compression with my hand even though this is a 148 scale kit still it is not as big as you would imagine so that's why yeah, it's better not to underestimate this model it still will require some certain skills of working with uh, tiny models from you and here by the way you can see the cockpit 4 and that's the opposite side of the wings so on the wing halves I can see we have some guiding elements but we also um, well it will be necessary to get rid of this uh, push marks because I think they might affect the overall fitment so definitely think about it but overall molding quality looks really clean so it's just a matter of separating these parts and maybe deleting these push marks which we already mentioned next there is a second grey plastic sprue so in total there are two grey plastic frames and here we have all other parts which will be necessary to copy this aircraft and I have to say that the amount of features which we get out of the box is really impressive for example if we zoom in even more you can see here the engine parts you can see also the internal framing for the canopy section and winding gear wheels yes they will be assembled out of two halves but as you remember we reviewed the resin upgrade set from CMK which completely replaces the wheels so it might be a handy thing to get it will be noticeable on this aircraft and next we continue with the separate struts here we continue with the uh, one piece propeller and some cockpit elements again some subframes here so everything looks really good and engine should be assembled out of those two halves 
but it's still really nice i just wonder how it is possible to expose it because otherwise it will be visible only through the opening in the coding so if you would like to play with weathering and actually show it on your model then i guess you will have to saw off the uh, coding panels and place them beside the aircraft or make them removable let's say next we continue with the plastic bag which is dedicated to clear parts so again i need a second to open it and for the clear parts there is also aftermarket set of masks and i really recommend to get it because clear parts here they look really good and it would be a wise idea to have a nice paint finish on this because uh, otherwise you can you have to cut all the stickers by your own and as you can see there are a lot of separate sections uh, really tiny ones for example here so it's just better to have uh, prepared masks and better to focus on something different than just cutting out the stickers next we continue with really unexpected thing here the resin parts and I wonder what will be actually replaced with them. Maybe it is uh, concerned with an engine, maybe with something else. Yeah, so here we have the exhausts for the engine. As you can see, they are quite thin, which is really nice. It's something what you will not be able to get in the plastic parts. That's why a Special Hobby decided to go with the resin. Here you can see also propeller hub. And this part is on the external uh, surface on the fuselage. As far as I remember, it's angle, um, let's say alarm. But correct me if I'm wrong. Feel free to write it in the comment section. Next, we have another plastic bag, which is dedicated to decals sheet. And there is also a small PE thread. So I'm trying to take everything out because it's not only PE thread, there is also a transparent film which is needed for this PE thread, let's say. So, uh, first of all, let's start with the PE thread and the dial film so here you can see them in my opinion they look really nice it's a welcome bonus in 148 scale kit even though their size is really tiny here you can see comparison with my hand so uh, this is definitely a thing which you will install with tweezers not with bare fingers so be ready for this and next as i said we have the decals sheet so here we have all necessary symbols printed on one sheet of paper so I will zoom out and close the lenses a bit yeah now you should be able to see that here we have also large white letters we also have some decals for the instrument panel which is quite interesting because as you saw we had the film also for the same purpose but printing quality is really good so if I bring it closer you can see what I'm talking about and I think the application also will not be problematic, it's just a matter of uh, cutting the necessary area and applying it on your model. So next we continue with assembly manual, this one is printed in form of a small brochure. Of course we have a color print in here, so there is nothing to worry about in this sense, maybe I'll open the lenses a bit. On the first page you'll find the short history note, and then we continue with the parts map. So all those small red crosses actually mean that these parts will be not used in today's version. I think they were used in the military version which we reviewed before and you can find on our YouTube channel. So assembly process starts with the cockpit and here straight away you will be working with P parts because those are used for the seat belts, also for various control elements. And also here you can see the engine assembly. So a lot of parts actually go in for the engine and there are also some necessary modifications required for the marking B and marking D. So it will be quite interesting to actually do this because it will be a lot of cutting and drilling. Next we continue with installing the engine and the cockpit onto the right fuselage half and then closing it in between. Here we have some alternative parts for the markings B, C and D. And as far as you can see, it's a cargo shelf, maybe. Next, we continue with the instrument panel. So here you have a choice between decal and also P parts. Then we have P part for the rear curtain. Here we install the 
small tubes for the canopy. Next, we continue, or subframe, let's say, we continue with this uh, special bar which will be holding both wing parts in place as you can see it's quite interesting design actually because it will also um, assist you with the fitment of the parts and also here we have a small add of other possible um, add-ons which you can use on this model so resin wheels also masks and the engine kit uh, engine kit will be reviewed in the separate video so here we continue with the exhausts being added on the kit and then here you have to copy some rigging lines so that will be also some stuff to do and of course the landing gear wheel is getting installed next we continue with antenna on the top of the aircraft and that's pretty much all as far as you can see we also have to use this resin part for the marking C so the first one the check marking which we saw on the box art it does not require any additional modifications so it might be an interesting thing to copy actually next we continue with another one of Swiss aircraft in bright yellow color also quite an interesting thing because as you can see it's quite bright so it suits this aircraft in my opinion Next we continue with the aircraft, I'm not sure where it is from, yeah it's British aircraft, but it's ex-US Air Forces aircraft, and here we have one more completely red, and ah, so it's white coaling with the red fuso, which I was like, where is the coaling, because it's not that visible on the white page, but here we have a Polish aircraft from 1949. And of course, on the other page you'll find a small ad for other kits from the same brand. And we reviewed them all, so you can find it on our YouTube channel. As for today's kit, it should be already available, and I would be happy to hear your opinion about this release. Do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today, and bye.